Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. He still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. And <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up and away.
say this point. Is it recording? Yeah. Yes, good. Now, let's see. The Omega Charter series. Book one. Title Diplomacy's Edge. And his best friend is killed by a lane the throne in the mountains of Africa. Oh, the vendor, right. You should get back to your shop or whatever. I'm not gonna let you through here. Sorry. He loves all that colorful campy stuff. Yeah, you guessed it. He's as queer as a three dollar bill. In fact, is that a unicorn on the top row up there? Definitely get me one of those, please. Oh, what a fine choice. Let me send my assistant to the stock room. Please, it will only take ten minutes. Have a look around at the Hey, mister, Whoa. who are you again? You need to stop whatever you're up to, mister. I got my eye on you. Okay, what's that? You, go. Affirmativo. There. So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. What can I say? I'm sorry, Wanda. I am. I'm sorry. You know, you can only say it so many times and still... Uh-huh. No, I... I... I am. I am listening. I'm listening, Wanda.
Carry on. Yep. Hey. Mind if I take a swing at the lousy rat? Eh, no can do. Only officers are allowed in. Zayden's orders. Don't know. Maybe he thinks treachery is contagious. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Whoa. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. That is General Reza Zaydan. Keeper of the peace. Well, no salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always no. embrace this. I am a man. I... And I would do it again. Proudly. You're soft. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. <laughs> There. So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work. 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. So what do you do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor and that's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Trying to rat us out. That's the captain. You'll know. Ooh, they're full forever. But what's so important? X, Y. That's why he saved the execution for after the phone call. The man that I'm firing is watching a pretty good way to go. The thing is, it's not like Zayden is even the lead from the front kind of guy, you know? Yeah, he probably deserved it. Wow, traitor. Flying colors and all. His track record defies belief. Zayden's been involved with a Bollywood actress, a Korean pop star, a Lebanese model, you name it. Still on guard duty, huh? Yep. Hey, mind if I take a swing at the lousy rat? Eh, no can do. Only officers are allowed in. Zayden's orders. 
Don't know. Maybe he thinks treachery is contagious. <laughs> Maybe. The metal see through. They'll know. Rise up against him. Yeah. Good old fashioned music. That's right. Officers against the wall. <laughs> Any minute now. Any frickin' minute. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. What? No salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. You sold us outside. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to have been of the prison transport. Oh, my deepest apologies for uh, brushing your shoulders. Hey, I can... Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Dr. Schlossberg. Passing. Awesome. 
Sure, no touch. Sloppy. Worthy of an equestrian statue. Drop and give me 20. Come on, let's hustle. parking job I've ever seen. How did you even build up the speed? I don't know. What the? Say what? Ah, it's okay. Don't worry. Most impressive, right, 47. Now Let's to locate Klaus Strandberg. Huh? Massage expert Connie Angstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk.
Relax, relax. Take a deep breath. Holy shit! Get in the gear! He's gone! Get out of here! Get out of here! Trooper. Compromise. 
But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. But still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Dig a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore.